So, I don't even know how to start this off because this is so different to anything that we've uh, ever done before. Um, what is happening is that I was on Facebook this morning and I saw that there was a Carboniferous Forest Simulator. So, I've got with me James Lamsdell. Hi. Who is uh, Paleo After Dark and you are currently a researcher at Yale. Yep. And you are going to walk with us through uh, the Carboniferous Forests. Yep, I am looking forward to it. So, uh, 300 million years ago, apparently. Uh, this is a, a new program that's just come out. It's uh, only in uh, beta. So it's uh, going to be pretty buggy, apparently. But here we go. We're, we're in the Carboniferous. Lots of ferns, lots of horse tails. Yeah, do you, do you know what these things actually are? What's this? That is a giant horsetail. I don't know the scientific name. Well, uh, we can actually find out. You can actually highlight all the different trees as you oh, go that's through. neat. Click on it. The descriptions aren't complete, oh, they say. Calamites. Calamites. Of course. And so, just walking around. Uh, WSAD, <laughs> for everyone who's familiar with uh, computer games. This is. Uh, this looks like the best Skyrim mod ever. <laughs> So how long before we see an animal, do you reckon? Uh, there's no animals in it as of yet, <laughs> unfortunately. But uh, a while. <laughs> you know, walk us up this tree. Oh, that's neat. And there you go, you got all the water as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think we've just been dropped into a swamp, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, you can you randomly start where you randomly change where you start. What are those things? Let's look at those palm trees. Uh, okay. Uh, Sigilla... How do you say it? Sigil... <laughs> Sigillaria? S Sigillaria. Coming soon. Coming soon. Obviously they're not real palm trees, because I don't think they were real trees. But I might be wrong. So, uh, anywhere you want to go? Explore? Let's see... Uh, okay, let's have an experiment. Let's see if we can get out of the swamp, given that most of the world at the time was swamp. It's nice that you got some little things as well. Got some nice yeah. ferns. Let me see anything about those. Yep. All of these are down. Odontopterus 01. I can see, so obviously, give it ah, a data that no. there's a lot. Sorry, I think I've just fallen into the swamp. Yep. <laughs> well, there's a rudimentary physics engine, that's cool. Yeah, gravity works. Yep. It's a lovely day. It is, but it, it sounds hot. I can hear crickets or something. Is that algae on the, like, scum on the pond? Uh, I hope so. It's nice to have some invertebrates. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get out of this swamp. The sounds are pretty good. Yeah. Oh, the little things, whatever they are. The clover? No, they look like ginkgo. Look at the leaves down here. Yeah, they're like tiny little ginkgo things. I thought ginkgos were like... No, not that. I thought Apparently that one were... is there, though, rather than the other one, which wasn't. Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's going to fire them. Do you know that? I, I know of it, yeah. <laughs> now you know more about paleobotany in the uh, Carboniferous oh, than I do. I just have good pattern recognition. I see names and I remember them. <laughs> Obviously not good pattern recognition for putting the names to the actual plants, but... Hey, here's a lepidodendron, surely. Yeah. Look at that that's detail. That's gotta be. Looks like a pineapple. It's lepidodendron. Yes. Scale yep. tree. Scale tree. So, I think it's pretty remarkable that you can just go out and have a walk around a carboniferous forest. Oh yeah, the things you could... I mean, the potential in this is astounding. Look at the roots on that tree fern. Yeah. And uh, they say that they're going to put animals into this. Uh huh. So you can imagine uh, some little arthropods crawling around out here, and maybe some early tetrapods crawling yeah. out. Have some uh, Meganeura dragonflies flying around in here. It'd be pretty nice, I think. Yeah, I think just having the just having the world here is an amazing feat in its own right. And I mean, 
aside from the fact that it's still got to populate some of the descriptions, I haven't noticed anything particularly buggy so far. Nah, me neither. It's, it controls really, really well and it looks fantastic. We're spending most of our time in water, but... That's yeah, the um, the, there is no jump button. I cannot uh, get out of the water, unfortunately, but... Use the original Halo engine. Not Halo. Uh, Half-Life. <laughs> Yeah, get my crowbar out. <laughs> You'll need it when they have the animals. Yeah. And so it's it's nice to show this is this is in beta still, and so uh, getting some support for this I think would be a really good idea. And uh, people yeah. have been sharing links, but I don't think anyone's actually gone around and shown what it's actually like to work around this forest and how well it works. Yeah, this is fantastic. I think so where can you download it? Uh, you can get it from... Uh, <laughs> I didn't write the link down. I'll, we'll put a link <laughs> at the bottom of this video, and you can get it from there. But it's the it's known as the Carboniferous Forest Simulator. Does exactly what it says on the tin. That is nice. I wonder if we, were, if we go in one direction, can we find an edge to this map? Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, there's a... There's a sort of bubble popping sound. I'm a little bit scared. It, yeah. I think, no, I've just worked it out, someone's actually taken the Slender engine <laughs> and just put Carboniferous stuff in. So if you find bits of paper, don't pick it up. Yeah, I won't. Don't worry. Have we got, um, I was going to say, have we got to the edge of the swamp? We, we've got some dry land at least. Yeah. It'd be a good way to do it if you just had rocks because you can't jump, that you can't, so you don't get a, an invisible wall. You just get to a sort of topological feature that you can't get over. Well, it depends if they have put in um, lots of. Uh, I don't know if they can generate the map as you're walking along. What's yeah, this? yeah. Whether it's procedural or not. Yeah. Well, these are big. Those look like more of those. Oh. Uh, yeah, more of those things. Obviously. What's that pineapple thing next to us? Right next to us. What? Where? Oh, don't worry. We've gone that. This? Uh, yeah. I think it's pineapple. Looks like a um, cycad type thing. Oh. oh, it's more of that. Maybe it's oh, just a short so one. Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see now. So that's just a short version of that. It's nice that you get the different trees and different stages of the growth as well. Yeah. And so I was just if you if over. you sort of stand back and look at the look at the forest, it's kind of cool because you've got you can see the different tiering. So you've got like all the all the ferns at the very low level, and then you've got these mid tier yeah. trees. So you've got the really really tall one. It's got proper tiering, just like forests do today. It's it's really accurate, and whoever's built this really, I think, knows what they were trying to achieve and what they were trying to show. I think it's a brilliant educational resource. Yeah, yeah. Click on one of the things that's got. Uh, text in it. Let's just see what kind of information they tell us. Okay, let's go. Because I'll definitely learn something from reading it. Let's have a look at this Calamites. Oh, there's Windsway as well. <laughs> Related to modern horse tails. Up to 100 feet tall. Yeah. Nice, there's some real information in there. Yes, this is not bad at all. And uh, if you think, there's actually quite a few, um, maybe not educational uh, software, but uh, in computer games, there's quite a lot of uh, recreated environments. So mm. if you went on to uh, Steam, the um, basically the computer game in the computer gaming program for PC and yeah. then there's a whole host of like Jurassic games that you can download yeah there is I mean this just this program alone there are so many things you could do with it you populate it with animals oh. you can just have Go. is this boundary oh no, no oh, we're getting oh, there we're in a tree we're literally in a tree if you ever wondered what it was like to be in a tree in the Carboniferous. This is the simulator for you. This is the latest simulator, I am tree. <laughs> or tree simulator. Right. I think we can't go that way. 
Okay. But yeah, no, there's so many things you can do with this. This can either just be edu educational, just have kids walking around with it. I'm, I mean, I, I'm sure I'm not mature enough to, to not enjoy this as much as a as a kid must do. And then you could even do, I don't know. Do you want to see something cool? I read the instructions yeah, before. Oh, it just got dark. It's the evening now. It's, now it's, now it's terrifying. The sun is setting. And we have been transformed into a... We've been transported into a terrifying carboniferous forest. Oh, imagine if you could take over different animals and then you've got to find food and, and run from predators. This is a bit spooky. It is. It's, and you've got all the ambient noises of things that aren't there but sound like they're there. Let's hope it doesn't go, get any darker, eh? Right, That's okay, fantastic. so we got now torch. We can, oh, we've got a flashlight. I've got that bit in America too long. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, this is... There, there is no way that this is not scary. No, this is ter this is pure slender now. So it's in... Uh, it's in alpha, not beta, as I kept on saying. Sorry, so... Uh, alpha That's testing. That's even more impressive. Uh, message to the uh, producers is that this is terrifying. You don't want to be walking around and coming face to face with like an Acanthus Vega. Uh, yeah, a is six that... meter tetrapod or uh, uh, or a giant dragonfly or anything like that. One of the two foot long scorpions. Yeah, but uh, the world did have day and night back in the Carboniferous. Yep. And reconstructions, you only ever see it in the day, and so I think it's well worth thinking about it in night as well. Oh god, we're working out to sea, I think. <laughs> oh, I wonder if we can find little horseshoe crabs in the, in, in the leaf litter. I'd hope so, some little... Yeah, that'd be cool. So I wonder if this is based off a sort of an aggregate, or if this is a locality like Joggins, or something like that, where they've got a lot of stuff. I think a lot of it is based in... Uh, Germany. Okay. I think the developers are all German, so mm -hmm. we're in the Carboniferous of Germany, or what would become Germany. There's a lot of Carboniferous stuff in there at times. Well, that's why it's called the Carboniferous. That's true. Oh, did not like that. There's something following <laughs> us. I think we're swimming now. We're genuinely swimming. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Run! <laughs> it's turned into a horror film. I'm stuck on something. <laughs> Alright, I think it's time for daytime. Yep. Yeah, there we go. And I think that should do us. Uh, it's a nice little exploration of this yep. program, which I think it's is going nice to have. Little camping trip. Absolutely fantastic educational use. I mean, just look how beautiful it is. And this is the closest oh. you're going to get to actually being in the Carboniferous. Oh, this is so great, I might just open it up and leave it on as a screensaver like I used to do with Mist. Beautiful. Alright, well, let us know what you think about this uh, program, and let's all try and get behind the developers. We'll put a link in the um, at the bottom of this video. And so share it about, and everyone have a go in the Carboniferous... Uh, <laughs> I just ruined it. Everyone have a go in the Carboniferous Forest Simulator. Uh, well, thanks for having me along, Dave. No worries.